Welcome to Electro Online. Here we have an example where we can write the schematics of a transistor, an NPN transistor, into its equivalent model. Why would we want to do that? Well, in the equivalent model, we have a better way of doing circuit analysis on it than if it's in this standard model like this. We still understand that there's a base current flowing from the base to the transistor, and that that allows current to flow from the collector to the emitter and the current gain is determined by the ratio of the amount of current coming from the collector relative to the amount of current flowing through the base. But if we write the, the schematics in this form, notice what it then becomes. We still have a base, we still have a collector, and we still have an emitter. We still have a base current, a collector current, and an emitter current. But notice now that we have the voltage from the base to the emitter, which is the 0.7 volt, typically for an NPN transistor, which is the voltage difference from the base to the emitter. So we look at that as a voltage source. The second part is the current being driven here from the collector to the emitter. Notice that it's a current dependence, it's a dependent current source because it depends on the base current. If the base current goes to zero, the current here goes to zero. If the base current increases, the current from the collector to the emitter increases by a factor of the beta times the base current. Also notice that the voltage between the collector and the emitter can be defined here by the voltage difference from this point to this point on the circuit, which is the same as the voltage difference from this point to this point on the circuit. So why do we need to do that? Well, if we're going to do circuit analysis using the node methodology, then we want to be able to go from this schematic to this schematic to make it easier to do the circuit analysis. We'll show you some examples coming up in just a few videos to see how we can solve a circuit like this and how we can solve a circuit like this. So this becomes the equivalent model of the original NPN transistor circuit, but much easier to do circuit analysis with this kind of model than with the standard mode of writing the circuit for a transistor. That's how we do that. Now stay tuned for some examples of how we actually utilize this model in circuit analysis.